Where's Dad turned many laps down here? Ed Lynch Jr., congratulations, $5,000 winner here, buddy. Bedford Speedway. <laughs> well, I never thought when we talked earlier that I'd be in victory lane, but I'll tell you what, the car felt beautiful. It felt terrible in the heat race, felt beautiful in time trials, but it really felt nice. It was the driver that was going to have to make a mistake on this deal. Well, it, uh, it definitely looked different than the rest of the cars. It drove perfectly straight. It stayed straight the whole time. It looked like clean air had a, a big deal with it. But each restart, they had a shot at you, and uh, you were able to hold your line and uh, actually get away from them a little bit each time. Yeah, I was trying to bottom in one and two. The top side seemed like I was getting a little loose, so I tried to bottom in one and two, and then uh, the top in one and three and four was real nice. So uh, kind of making it different, but uh, this racetrack's different. You're going uphill, back straightaway, downhill, front straightaway. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a very famous car. It's one of the cell-owned cars. Very few ones are out there, and with your mom being here, Gene, was a special thing, and all the times your dad had raced down here. It is it's special to have you down here, and congratulations, Victor Lane here. Well, this is a very special special race to me with the Pennsylvania Posse. I'm the Eastern Pennsylvania Posse, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, these guys run hard and they take it serious. So it's a real night. I'm glad that we had a nice night here at Bedford. Yeah, me too. This is pretty rare most of the time. But listen, you got some people on this car. You got to thank. Uh, it's a $5,000 win, but it doesn't come uh, that easy. Well, we can use every penny of it, but uh, Howard Concrete Pumping, Mesitis Motorsports, uh, Red Devil Brakes, Ultralight Brakes. Uh, we got Kissler engines and J&J &J chassis and uh, I got a lot of family help and I got uh, a couple guys that helped me real well. My dad, uh, he's right there. He, he really, uh, he, he knew how to get around this track. He and Lou Blaney and we were talking about Milt Miller a little bit ago. I wish he could have been here. Yeah, me too. Me too. Come on over here. I want to get, <laughs> I saw, like I said, I was just all sitting in the stands. I want to thank you very much and uh, you're quite, quite a bit of fame down in this area. Yeah, I, I don't know which way to, I was though, you know. <laughs> I, uh, somebody said, why were you so mean? I said, well, you know, I, I ran construction, I was a general superintendent, and it's inevitably, Friday, something would go wrong and you had to lose weight. You, 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 Lou, go, wait, late, I'll be all right. Anyway, uh, you drive like hell down the turnpike because I was yeah. usually out this way someplace, you know. Yep. And by the time you get to the racetrack, you could kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a famous Ed Lynch, by the way. And uh, his lovely wife's here, Jean. And I'd like to say congratulations again to Ed Lynch on the front stretch of Bedford Speedway. It's a special night for us. Couldn't find a better winner. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Lynch, Jr. Thank you. Thank you.